I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the Alpine stitch, which is the stitch that you see here in front of you. And it is a raised, very textured stitch worked with double crochet stitches and front post double crochet stitches. It happens to be uh, one of my favorites and uh, works up fairly quick, quickly and gives you this great texture. So why don't you grab a hook and some yarn and we'll learn how to crochet the stitch together. I'm going to be using a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook along with some Karen Times Pantone yarn. So thank you once again so much for joining me today. If uh, you are new to my channel or haven't uh, subscribed already, I invite you to subscribe to it. Check out some of the other videos there. There is a playlist under my playlists for stitch tutorials. Every Sunday morning I update my channel with a new stitch tutorial and uh, they're all there for you to check out. So uh, feel free to go ahead and do that. Today for our Alpine stitch, we're going to work it in rows. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a slip knot. And you're going to work a foundation chain with an even number of stitches plus three for your turning chain. So today I'm going to work a total of 18 stitches plus three. There's 15, 16, 17, 18, my even number of stitches, plus 3. Then for row 1, you're going to begin by working in the fourth chain from your hook. So count in 1, 2, 3, 4. Into that fourth chain, work a double crochet stitch. And then one double crochet stitch in each chain all the way across. For at the end of row one, you're going to chain one and turn your work. You're now going to work a return row of single crochet stitches and you're going to work this row of single crochet stitches after every row of double crochet stitches. So simply uh, single crochet in each stitch all the way across. As you come to the end of your row two, in this pattern, your chain three at the beginning of the row always counts as a stitch. So you're always going to work a single crochet into the top of that chain three. So treat it as a stitch. So that's where you work your final single crochet stitch. That brings you to the end of row two. You're going to chain three and turn your work. Now for row three, we're going to start working a bit of our texture and your texture is worked using front post double crochet stitches that are alternated uh, in between double crochet stitches. So for your front post double crochet stitch, you're going to work the next one uh, into around the post of the next double crochet. So this is your first chain three, which counts as a double crochet stitch, and around the post of the next one. That's where you're going to work the front post double crochet. So to work that stitch, you're going to yarn over, bring your hook in front of your work and insert your hook around the post of that next double crochet two rows below from right through to left yarn over and draw up a loop the height of the single crochet. Yarn over, draw through two loops, yarn over, draw through two more. You're then going to work a double crochet stitch into the top of the single crochet. To find the stitch that you're going to work your double crochet in, you're going to skip the next single crochet. You have your chain three here, there's a single crochet, you're going to work your double crochet into the next one. Next, you're going to work a front post double crochet. You're going to skip the next double crochet there down below 
and then into the next one that's where you're going to work your front post double crochet so yarn over around the post insert your hook yarn over and draw up a loop to the height of the single crochet yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two so if you take a look at your work you're going to down below skip a double crochet stitch in between each front post double crochet so you have your chain three front post skip one and a front post now up top if you look at the top of your work you have your chain three you skip a single crochet work a double crochet now you're going to skip the next single crochet stitch and then work a double crochet stitch into the next single crochet you're going to repeat that all the way across so front post double crochet into the next one after you skip so you skip one double crochet down below into that next one work your front post and then up top skip the next single crochet and work a double crochet into the top of that single crochet repeat that all the way across your work when you come to that final single crochet stitch you're going to work a double crochet into that final single crochet chain one and turn your work we're now going to work our row four which is a row of single crochet so single crochet in each stitch all the way across At the end of that row four remember to work your final single crochet stitch into the top of that turning chain three you're then going to chain three and turn your work your chain three counts as your double crochet stitch and we now want to alternate our front posts so what we're going to do is we're going to for uh, row five we're going to work a double crochet stitch into the next single crochet so up top you have your chain three double crochet into the next single crochet stitch and then you're going to work a front post double crochet around the next double crochet stitch so you have your chain three a front post double crochet and then your next double crochet stitch so into the, around the post of that double crochet work a front post double crochet then up top you're going to skip that next single crochet stitch and work a double crochet into the next single crochet down below work a front post double crochet stitch around the next double crochet up top skip the next single work a double crochet in the next stitch repeat that all the way across so you'll always be working your front post double crochet stitches around double crochet stitches never around the front posts down below you want to make sure that they're alternating in between your front posts continue that all the way across when you come to your final three single crochet stitches you're going to skip that next single crochet work a double crochet and then you'll have one single crochet left work a final double crochet into that single crochet stitch you're then going to chain one and turn your work and now for the remainder of the pattern you're simply going to repeat your rows two through to five so your single crochet followed by a front post double crochet and double crochet stitch then a row of single crochet and then a double crochet stitch 
followed by a front post double crochet stitch. So repeat rows two through to five for as long as you would like your pattern to continue for. And that's all there is to working this alpine stitch. Thank you once again so much for joining me and until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.